Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Ooh, Empress, Emperor, Energy. Oh, my gosh. Um, coming out right away, there's an Emperor here. Um, this person wants to give everything to you now. I feel like, I feel like everything has flipped. Okay, um... In the past, this person may have been very controlling. They could have been very selfish in the past with you. They could have breadcrumbed you in the past. Um, they, if you were in a time of struggle or if you needed help with anything, they kind of held it over your head or um, they just wanted to kind of watch you struggle with stuff. Okay, they didn't want to give to you in the past. This could have been somebody who was all just out for them, okay? Like, they, it was me, me, me all the time for this person. And now they want to give back to you. They, they're trying to plan a way to get back into your life. They want to, now they want to give you anything that you need, okay? Yeah, this person, they're choosing it. Yeah, look, but you already have everything that you need, don't you, Empress? Um, Nine of Pentacles energy, you don't need any money. You're um, good all on your own. You know, I feel like maybe you started something like a creative project that, that turned into a full-on business here. You're a big success. You could be making really good money right now or just, you know, fulfilled, living a happy life. Everything around you seems good and happy and kind of magical and lucky right now. Okay, that's sort of the feeling that I'm getting. It's making me giggle, too. It's very light very happy um you're single with everything that you need and then some the only thing you don't have is a soulmate at your side that's it this th this person didn't really give you a legit offer okay um and you could be very choosy at this time too because you know the empress is going to want an emperor that's it um, so yeah, you, you could be single right now, one, because you're happy being single and two, um, you know, you're not going to settle for anything less than what you deserve and you deserve someone who is going to be independent, who's going to, um, give you dedication, loyalty, um, who's going to help build you up instead of bring you down. I feel like that's all this person did in the past was try to bring you down or make you feel like you weren't worthy or um, watch you struggle and laugh at them, okay? Now they're in a time of struggle. I feel like this was you at one point in the Ten of Wands or uh, maybe the Seven of Pentacles, struggling financially, okay? This is somebody who had possibly a lot of money or more money than you in the past and they could have helped you but they chose not to. Uh, if anything, they probably took money from you. Even, even though you didn't have as much as they did. That's what I'm feeling. And now they're in a time of struggle. Okay? They may have a lot of financial burdens right now. You know, this is somebody who could have lived beyond their means, right? Um, this could be somebody who likes their big toys. That kind of thing. Boats. Cars electronics, whatever. And I feel like they would flash that stuff in your face while you were trying to carry burdens and the Ten of Wands. You know, I just feel like this was a very selfish person. Um, and now they're seeing you, like, I feel like this person, now they kind of feel like a fool, even though the fool card isn't out here. They feel a bit foolish. Okay, they um, may be even a bit embarrassed. They may not want you to know about their financial issues because of how they treated you for your um, struggles in the past. Okay, I, and this person could be kind of, um, they could have been competing with you. Yeah, that's the truth. That's it. See, I, this is somebody who watched you be in the Five of Pentacles. That's struggling financially, not knowing where to go, not needing help, but not knowing who to go to. I feel like they kind of, I don't know if they, I hear, I'm hearing charity case. Okay, something like that, you know, that's how they looked at you. That's what they thought of you then. 
And now I feel like this person could have even put you out in the cold. You could have even had children and they put you out in the cold like they didn't even care. And I feel like you gave to them, but they refused to give to you. And when they put you out in the cold, it's like, I don't know, they, they called you, they may have called you names like that behind your back. You know, they, they made fun of it. Okay. They, th th this is what made them happy. They'd be happier if you were in the Five of Pentacles, but you're not. You're in the Nine of Pentacles. You've got everything except for a partner. This is, this is the only thing that's going to satisfy them, um, is to see you struggling again. They're not going to be... I feel like they were happier. Sun card, they were happier when you were struggling. And now it's them in the Ten of Wands, okay? And you're in this Empress energy, and I feel like this person wants you. Yeah, they can't stop thinking about you, but yet when, when, when they realize that you're doing better than they are, they get angry. When they realize that you're doing better without them in your, li in your life, they get angry, okay? They want to see you struggle because now at this point it's the only way that this person will actually feel better is if you're not doing as well as they are okay yeah but you're out here having a victory and they're wondering how did you do this how did you do this how did you Right? The one that I always thought was going to be struggling and hurting and needing help. How did you go from the Five of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles? How did you do it? Right? They're seeing you as an alchemist, a magician. They may be even thinking that you could have put them under some kind of spell uh, because you're doing better and everything has flipped on this person. Everything's flipped on them. You have flipped on them. You've transformed very quickly. They may be thinking that you're doing some kind of some kind of spell work, but you're not. You're just putting your effort into all the right stuff and breaking free from somebody who wanted to keep you down to make themselves feel bigger. This was someone in their ego. You know, and here's the thing. They're an emperor energy. You're an empress energy. You two could have been a power couple had they not been thinking this tox in this toxic way. Okay, because this is toxic to you. And that's why you're doing better now that you've broken free from them. There's, there's, it's hard to do well when someone is expecting you to fail all the time. It's hard to, to flourish and grow when someone is trying to keep you down in a, in a, like at ground level where you can't get back up. Okay, have you guys ever seen that? Um, it's a plant experiment. I've brought it up on the channel a few times. You know, they do this plant experiment with the kids in school. They take two plants and they're, they're both the same plant in the same soil, same amount of water, same amount of sunlight. And they tell the kids, okay, for one plant, you want to you wanna say nice things to it. Just talk to it. Say nice things, right? Compliment the plant, you know? Um, and the other plant, we want you to give a bunch of cut downs to. Tell it that it will never grow. Tell it that it's going to die off. Tell it that it's never going to become pretty. Okay, something like that, right? It's to teach these kids the power of their words and how their words, how their words and the way they treat other people, how it affects other people. Okay. And here's what happens. The one, the plant that they talk to nicely flourishes and grows. Okay. And the one that they talk to badly ends up wilting and dying. Even though it's getting the same care, Okay, the same amount, the same soil, same water, same sunlight, it's still going to die because of the kind of energy that's being thrown at it. And that's an experiment that they hold in 
schools for kids. And the same thing happened to you. While you were being put down by this other person, there was no way that you could grow and expand and become successful. But now since you've broken away from them, you are. And it happened quickly because you always had that in you. You were always capable of that, okay? And this person has to look at that. That's making them look at themselves. You know, it's like that plan experiment. They're going to learn from this. And so you're out here succeeding and you're moving forward with your success and your growth very quickly. Like, this is something that's happened for you fairly fast. Okay? And you are having a massive victory here and they're thinking that you are a magician. Like, how did you do this? How did you, five of pentacles person, that's how they look at you. You know... You may have had financial struggles at the time, but that didn't mean that you weren't capable of great things, okay? This is all I feel like all you needed to do was break away from this person that kept putting you down. They would say subtle things to you that would make you feel lower and lower and lower, okay? When you were in a financial situation, I'll bet you they held it over your head and sort of sort of picked at you for it, you know, um, blamed you for it. Um, I don't know. They, they could have called you unmotivated. They could have called you lazy. I feel like they said a lot. Just small, subtle things, little bits at a time to kind of get in your head and bring you down. You can't grow when somebody's constantly trying to bring you down or weigh you down. You broke free from them, and all of a sudden, you're successful. Looky there, right? Because they're watching you. They're watching you from afar. They're spying on you. I feel like this person is trying to find out how are you doing this. I'm also feeling like they're a bit intimidated, you know? And um, whatever they've said about you in the past, they're eating their words now. Okay, they're eating their words about you, all right? Because, y y you know, y the way you're living and the way you're succeeding, you're proving them wrong. You were always capable of this on your own even. This person didn't help you with any of this. You did this on your own with the guidance of the divine. So you were always capable of this kind of success and victory, okay? Yeah, you're strong. You have integrity. And this person didn't see it. They always saw you as weak. They saw you as not having anything. They wanted to see you this way, though. Now that you're, you're successful, see, instead of being proud of you, what are they? They're jealous. They're jealous and they're confused because this person never believed in you. And you're doing better than they are, and they can't stand it. You know, I feel like they're a bit intimidated here, and, and they're probably very embarrassed. They're being shut up. This person could be doing a lot of drinking. See, I feel like they were, they were a heavy drinker maybe, but they would go out and they would brag about how much better they were doing than you. They would brag about how much more money they had than you. They would brag about their home and that you'll never own a home. Right? They held that over your head probably as well. You know, I don't, I really, at first I, I'm like, ooh, the emperor and the empress coming out together. But now I do not like this person's energy at all. And I feel like you don't either. I, I feel like everything's become clear to you. You needed to break away from that person. Okay? And, um, and now you have your boundaries up. So I feel like you don't want this person back. 
You could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Leo, an Aquarius, Taurus, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be a Virgo. I've got heavy Virgo, Leo for you, Taurus, Aries, Cancer. Yeah, you're moving on. This person has betrayed you. I feel like, you know, it took you a long time to heal from this person because they it was psychological warfare. That's what it was. It was psychological. Okay, and the more um, insults they gave you and the more they tried to put you down, right? Um, the, the more it affected you. You didn't actually start flourishing again until you broke free from this person. You're fully aware of that now. And I feel like y you, you may even have some PTSD from this person. Okay, you may still have, even in your success, you may still have moments where um, maybe you don't believe in yourself so much or you're not as confident okay because you remember how this person treated you it's psychological wounds that's what they gave you were psychological wounds and those are really hard to heal from okay some of you may have even needed to, um, to go to counseling because of what this person has done but you know here's the thing you I, I feel like in order to heal from that, I feel like um, you need to kind of look back at where you've been and how far you've come and know that you did this on your own. Okay? You know, if you remind yourself, I'm doing better now because I broke free from someone who, who kept bringing me down. You know, I feel like um, it'll put things back into proper perspective. Take a look at what you've created here because it's huge. <laughs> it is. And just know that you're shutting this person up. They are eating their words, everything that they've said to you and about you. Okay? It shuts them up. And all they can do is watch you succeed and burn. Like, seriously, they're burning over this. All right? But too bad. They need to look at themselves. They need to look at themselves. And I feel like this person may have a, a drinking problem. Do they always have a drink in their hand? Because here's a drink in their hand. Here's a drink in their hand. You know, maybe they need to look at themselves. They're not so great. They've got some things that they need to heal on and work and work on. Okay? Yeah, you could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This person's life is way out of balance, especially since you walked out of their life. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy for you, maybe heavy on cancer. And I feel like they look back on how they treated you and they get real emotional now but they hide it they try to hide it it's like they that once this person starts looking at themselves and they start feeling bad for how they treated you they get angry they get angry about that because this person doesn't want to admit that this was their problem you didn't have a problem see they treated you like you did they treated you like you were always going to have a problem didn't they but the problem was never with you. Because as soon as you left them behind, you started doing great. You started doing great. Yeah, they have to realize that this was their problem. And it's toxic. And they need to fix some things about themselves. So, you know, they were pointing fingers at you. You, you, you. You're never going to succeed. You're never going to do better. You're never going to have enough money. You're never, never going to have your own place. You, 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 right? Well, they need to turn that finger back on them. And they need to start looking at themselves. They have a problem. Now they're struggling. You know, they shouldn't have judged you. The problem must be theirs. 
if you're doing this great without them. Yep, and now you don't, you're not going to extend your cup of love to this person again. You're turning your back on them. You are, and you're moving on, trying to heal from the, the psychological wounds they gave you. You know, I, and I feel like as soon as you made that shift or decided to leave them behind, right? As soon as you got in clarity that your life is going great without this person in it, um... Yeah, I feel like um, that's when everything started just booming for you, okay? That was your shift. That was, that was really the um, beginning of your healing process, really. Because you, I feel like you still have some psychological wounds from them. You've been a warrior. You've been a warrior. This is the warrior queen. You know, looking back and realizing how much you actually had to go through. Realizing this was all psychological crap to keep you down. And realizing it didn't work. Because you're too strong. You're stronger than this person is. Yes, you are. And now they may want you back. But yet at the same time... They are angry and jealous. Like if you were to get back with this person, collective, they'd, they'd do everything they can to get you back in the Five of Pentacles. They would. They'd do whatever they could to get you back in a place of struggle and thinking that you're inadequate or you're not capable of great things. Because it's a, this is somebody who's, who plays psychological games. They... They know what they're doing, too. The little subtle insults and things that they say to you to bring you down, they, those little things, that's, those are like little tiny wounds in you. L a little at a time. Because this person wants to feel more powerful than you. They want to feel like they have more than you. Okay? You know, you could have a, a, a couple of exes that treated you like this. You could have other, because I'm seeing three masculines here. These three people, you're, these could be exes that know each other, that have talked about you and, and thought that you would, always, um, you would always have nothing. Okay? Let them all talk now. What are they saying now? It's looking to me like all their, look, all their mouths are shut. All their mouths are shut. And you know what? You didn't have to say a thing to these people. High priestess. You, you are so intuitive too. You probably, you probably know more dirt on these people than they would ever have on you. Okay? You're, you're just intuitive. Like, um, yeah, I, uh, this reading is making me so angry because of the psychological wounds that you had to go through. That's just, you know what, and it was needless, you know, they didn't have to treat you that way. It, they could have grabbed your hand and helped you back up, but they didn't. They took a stick and they kept jabbing you with it. You know what I'm saying? Seriously. Yeah, now you're, and this person, whoever this is, they can't stop thinking about you. This is really eating away at them that you're, that you're this financially stable, independent, that you can take care of everything on your own. I feel like they're kind of hoping that you'll need them for something. <laughs> they're hoping you'll need them for something, okay, so that they can try to bring you down a notch. But it's not going to happen. The Queen of Pentacles can take care of everything on her own. All right? And with how strong you are, you can take care of everything on your own. And you don't need anybody for anything. All you need is the divine. That's it. So you're not going to be calling this person because you need something from them. Okay? That's not going to happen. They can, they can stand here with their back turned and wait forever. 
Because honestly, the Empress, the Empress isn't going to call anybody and say she needs something. The help will just automatically go to you anyway. You, you, you think it up, you put it out in the universe, and Spirit will send you any help you need. Seriously, your manifestation skills are, are so powerful in this Empress energy. Okay? You think, uh, you think about something, like lately I've been manifesting a riding lawnmower, okay? And I know it's coming. I know it is. So, I mean, that's, you know, um, as soon as you think it up, it's like you get it within days or weeks. So you don't need anybody's help. You're good all on your own. Nine of Pentacles energy, Queen of Pentacles energy, you're good all on your own. You know, let this person keep their back turned. They they weren't um they weren't doing you any justice when you were together with them anyway. Yeah, see they want it I feel like this person wants to get back together with you, but yet at the same time they're angry and jealous. Okay? Yeah, I don't like their energy tower moment on the bottom of the deck. It's not I don't think it's going to happen. And you're not speaking to this person. You know, the high priestess energy, she's not just intuitive, she's silent. So, yeah, you don't plan on speaking to this person. They put you through enough, warrior. You could be a Cancer, heavy Cancer, heavy Virgo, heavy Leo. Okay, take it how it resonates, though. Um, let's see how this person is feeling. So you could have been dealing with not just one ex, but, uh, but several that thought of you the same way. Okay, it's, it's really sad. It's disgusting. It's sad for them because they really missed out on someone absolutely incredible and very talented and skilled. And um, they missed out on a warrior. Okay, yeah, now they're unfulfilled without you. Feeling incomplete. Here's the thing. This, this person is just upset because you're doing better than them. Okay, they're upset because you're doing better than them. They're very surprised. They're surprised, astonished, startled, shocked that you're doing better than them. Okay, for real, because this puts them in a vulnerable position. See, they thought you were going to always be the vulnerable one. But no, now it's them that feels that way. I'm telling you, I feel that I feel everything is flipped on this person. Now they're feeling inadequate. What did I say? Now they're feeling inadequate. Worthless, incompetent, and ill-equipped. Let me guess, that's pretty much what they called you at one point, wasn't it? This is someone, all they did, I just know it, all they did was talk down on you and put you down because you didn't have as much as they did. That's all they did. It, it kind of feels like narcissistic energy to me. You know, and this person is fascinated. They're fascinated, they're shocked, they're astonished that it's you that ended up being the abundant one. You, of all people, this is what they're thinking. How did you, of all people, have this kind of success? You know, but they're watching everything that you post. I'm seeing somebody, like, watching on a computer, watching everything that you are doing. So you could have, like, um, a job that's online, an online business. It could have started as like a creative project and turned into a full business that's brought you a lot of success. And you're stable and you're happy without this person in your life. They're seeing that too. Okay, you could be dealing with a Leo. Yeah, and now they're in a whole lot of grief, sorrow, heartbroken. I just feel like this person is stressed out. They're stressed out. They want you back, but this person, mm-mm. No, 
they didn't they did not treat you the right way period this person gave you too many psychological wounds and i'm telling you now if you get back with this person they do it all over again um let's see what they want to say okay what does this person want to say to my collective i'm lost i don't know what to do I do love you, just don't know how to show you right now. I feel like this person never showed you the right kind of love. There's no one else thinking about you all day. No one makes me feel the way you do. You're the best I ever had. See, they're realizing this now. They're eating their words, remember? No matter what happens, my heart will always belong to you. I'm so in love with you. You're so perfect to me. See, that's how they're seeing this now. This may be something that they want to say to you to get you back. You know, if they give you some compliments, maybe you'll come back to them, right? This is how they're thinking because they've never tried to compliment you before. They've never tried to congratulate you for anything before. So maybe that's a new tactic that they want to try. Right? I don't like this person's energy at all. I love you so much no matter what. I'm sorry. I just, I'm, this person makes me really angry. Because, you know, honestly, I went through the same kind of stuff. I did. I went through the same treatment. And it does, it leaves psychological wounds. It's PTSD. It takes a long time to heal from those kind of wounds. Okay? And you didn't deserve to have that treatment. I struggle with revealing my true feelings and emotions, but I love you more than you think. Well, they have a funny way of showing it. Um, I hope to have a future with you one day, yeah? Who wouldn't want the true treasure in the deck? Everybody wants the Empress. And your wifey material here, your wifey energy. So, yeah, there's no doubt in my mind that they want you back. But this person, they don't know how to treat you. And they're not wanting to actually change. Okay? Oh, Collective, I'm so sorry for whoever this is for, you know, for you going through all of that. But you are, you're coming out rosy, like for real. Um, yeah, just keep doing what you're doing and keep putting your focus into you. Okay, I would say stay away from this person. They may try to reach out to you, okay, and try to feed you all of this. All right, but I'm, I'm telling you, it may be in, in their weird, demented way. This maybe is love to them. But once they, if you were to go back with this person, they would, um, they would have you down at a low point, okay? And they would want to keep you there. And all of this progress and all of this work that you've put in, all of your success, it would, they would either take control of it or it would just start dwindling away. It would, um, with this, and their cycle, this person's psychological warfare Okay, the, the psychological tricks they use on you are so subtle and they do it in a way where they can't take any blame for it. Like it's very tricky. And if you were to stand up for yourself, this person would, they'd, be, they'd whoop you even more. They'd call you crazy. They'd call you, they'd say you were freaking out. They, how dare you stand up for yourself? Okay, so this person, it's a lot of gaslighting. It's a lot of gaslighting and projecting, and they do it on purpose. Because watching you struggle makes them feel bigger, okay? 